three college best friends, an avid hikers, Maya, Elisa, and Paris, head to camp at the Appalachian Trail in the Great Smoky Mountains. It was their first way to celebrate their university graduation and anniversary as best friends. Since they were freshmen, they loved to hike in different places, meaning they had already experienced many wildlife encounters, including encounters with bears. Not to mention that Elisa is a bear attack survivor. Upon arriving at their campground on the Appalachian Trail, the three girls set up their belongings and brought out their sleeping bags. They also ventured out into the woods to grab some firewood that they'll be using to light up their campfire once the sun went down. While exploring and getting some firewood, Maya noticed a mid-sized grizzly bear not too far from them. She pointed it out to the two other girls. They were amazed by how big it was, despite knowing that it was probably still a grizzly in its adolescent age. Luckily, the bear didn't attack them and went away instead. After the little encounter, the three girls gathered some firewood while chit-chatting. Upon returning to their campsite, the girls quickly set up their campfire as the sun was already going down. Elisa brought out their portable cookers to cook meat and make dinner sandwiches for them to eat. As darkness rolled over the surroundings, the girls lit up the campfire, which delighted and satisfied them with their camp. Elisa was busy cooking and preparing meat to make dinner sandwiches, while Maya and Paris sat around the campfire and took pictures. While cooking, Elisa noticed a wrestling sound in the woods in front of her. She didn't mind it at first, as she thought it was just a wild animal. Not until the mid-sized bear they saw earlier appeared from it. Terrified, Elise threw the raw meat she had been holding to the bear, which the bear carefully took with its mouth and walked away from them. Elisa was disappointed at throwing the raw meat at the bear, but at the same time, she felt relieved that the bear didn't attack or disturb her too much. She continued to cook and make sandwiches until she was finished and eventually distributed the food to Maya and Paris. Elisa didn't bother to tell the two other girls what happened, since she didn't want them to worry and think of positive thoughts. Throughout their time on the Appalachian Trail there, the three of them sat around the campfire and talked about everything about their current lives. After having a deep conversation as best friends, the three decided to tuck themselves into their sleeping bags and doze off. Paris and Elisa were the ones who fell asleep quickly, while Maya was left there awake in her sleeping bag. Because of this, Maya gets out of her sleeping bag and grabs a horror book from her purse, which she decides to read while sitting in front of the campfire. While reading, Maya heard the same wrestling sound from the woods that Elisa had heard a while ago. She was too focused on the book that scared her and made her throw the book away to the ground. Maya just laughed as she stood up to pick up the book, when the mid-sized grizzly bear from a while ago jumped out of nowhere and pinned her down to the ground. Maya was surprised as she screamed in terror while the bear started to claw her face and unfortunately clawed her right eye. Her screams woke Paris and Elisa, terrified to see their friend getting attacked by the bear. The grizzly relentlessly bit and scratched every exposed skin on Maya's body, causing her to scream in excruciating pain. Elisa didn't waste time as she told Paris to pick up big stones to throw at the bear. The two girls immediately threw stones at the grizzly to scare it away, which eventually worked. The bear ran away, leaving their friend with a wounded body and eye. Paris first paid attention to Maya's wounds, particularly her damaged eye. She sobbed in agony as soon as Paris wrapped bandages on her body and an eye patch over her eye. The three decided to hike back to their car, despite being late at night, to take Maya to a nearby hospital. The doctors confirmed that she would no longer have vision in her eye, but she was lucky to have survived the attack. After that, authorities searched for the bear to avoid anyone being involved in another incident of bear attacks again. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more real animal encounters like this.